Let's think about this whole idea of discipling our kids and our kids' friends. That word urge in 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 2, verses 11 and 12 has a sense of strong spiritual authority. So as parents, we have been given by God the opportunity to urge our kids. We have strong spiritual authority to urge our kids in the direction that they need to go. And we must take that parenting responsibility, that discipling responsibility as parents. 1 Thessalonians 2.13, we looked at 11 and 12, go on down to verse 13, and here's what the Apostle Paul says. We also thank God constantly for this, that when you received the word which you heard from us, you accepted it, not as the word of man, but for what it really is, the word of God at work in you believers. So here's what he's saying here. He's saying this. He's saying, we gave you by our spiritual authority, we gave you the word. And then you on the receiving end, you received it and you accepted it for what it was. And now it's at work in you and it's working in you, causing you to believe more and more and to grow more and more. And essentially, that's what we're talking about here with our kids. We are urge, urging them to pursue their relationship with Christ. And we're doing everything within our power to help them to do that and being actively involved in it. Discipling gives us as parents a platform to spiritually invest in our kids. We build this platform when we disciple our kids. We build a platform that will give us the opportunity to spiritually invest in our children and our children's friends. And on that platform, we have the opportunity to give them focused attention around God's word. They receive it. They accept it. They begin to process it. We have an opportunity to discuss it. Then they apply it. We see them work it out. What a great opportunity it is to do that. But virtually nobody's taking advantage of that opportunity. We have as parents a privilege and a responsibility to disciple our kids and our kids' friends. And who better to do it? Think about this. Who better to do it? Who knows your kids better? Who, who can speak to your kids better? Who knows the inside stuff on your kids better? Who loves your kids more than you? You are God's choice to disciple your kids and your kids' friends. There it is.